students welcome to my channel darit sir students uh, today we will understand about acid base and salts as we understood about the nutrition in animal nutrition in plant and also we understood about the fiber to fabric and heat chapter 4 we know that the nutrition in animal is a different nutrition they take nutrition in plant also they take a different uh, Nutritions. Now, as an animal, what kind of food we are eating that we understood? But once we eat this food, we feel a different, different kind of taste. Maybe that is a salt taste. Maybe it is a bitter or any other kind of taste which we can feel. Sometimes if we eat chili, then also we feel lots of mouth burning. Why this happens? What is the reason behind this kind of food? What exactly it contains? Students, when you open your mouth and if you see in the mirror on your tongue, if you move your tongue outside your mouth, on your tongue you will find small, small this kind of. Pores or you this kind of pores you can see. This pores is known as taste buds. What is known as taste buds? This taste buds is responsible to identify the different different nature of the these materials or these items, whatever the food you eat. This taste bud will identify. Suppose. If you eat something which is have sour taste, that means kata, is it? That means the lemon juice when you eat, or suppose a your piece of a lemon you put on your tongue, then you will feel what? You will feel sour taste. So I uh, one more thing. Suppose here, suppose you eat any kind of bitter material. Then that is also will be a bitter taste, a salt, a salty taste. That means what? The material or items, anything you eat, that gives a different, different kind of the taste on your tongue. So tongue is responsible to identify. Okay, this we understand the taste, taste buds. Now, whenever you look on this kind of the material like that, lemon juice. If you find the sour taste, that means the taste of the items when you find the sour. That means the item are acidic. Means the material or the items which contains acid. It this items have a sour taste, and the nature of this item is known as acidic. Got it? Okay. The nature of this item is acid. Now, this word comes from the Greek. That is called the acer. The acer means sour, and sour means kata. We understood this. So, the material which contains the acid, this material's nature is known as acid. Okay, fine. Now, any kind of the material. Suppose we have bases. Suppose you have a uh, washing soda. Is it? Suppose you have washing soda. If you washing soda, it's uh, how you identify? Suppose I have two beakers. Okay. Here I will keep some powder. Here also I will keep some powder. Okay. And suppose I take this powder. If I take this powder in my hand, if I rub this powder, then this powder will give me a soapy kind of feeling. Means, suppose it gives the soap feeling. So, if it gives the soap feeling, if it gives soap feeling, that means this is known as base. Students, suppose. Once you are using a new company washing pot, and if you wash your clothes, and if you put your hand for a 10 to 15 minutes for the washing the clothes in that water, after that if you feel the burn 
nothing sensation, but the sensation on your hand. Suppose any kind of the wearing of the skin or any kind of the rashes on the skin or redness on the skin. That means the nature of this washing soda or washing powder may be acidic. Why acidic? That means it contains some part of the <coughs> acid. Why? Because once this is neutralized, once this acid and base is neutralized, then this neutralizer might have any some kind of impurities is remaining in that. What kind of impurities? Maybe the nature which is neutralization which we have done. Maybe the nature of the neutralization is that the acidic component which is used to make the washing powder that might be more compared to the utilizing basis which is used to make the washing powder. So, because of that you will feel this kind of pressure. Now, you can see in the table, see here it is given some substances and here it is given the taste. The different different kind of taste you can see over here. There is a sour taste, bitter taste and many other taste which you can feel. See, sometimes this khatta uh, or karama We can feel it immediately. You, you can, because that our tongue has this taste but can identify immediately. Then also we feel immediately, is it? But some taste we cannot identify. So that's why this is called the other taste, which is we are not in the position to identify or which our brain is not in the position to capable to get the idea what exactly we have eaten. Is it? So now here you can see the substances: this is lemon juice, orange juice, vinegar, curd, tamarind, common salt. Amla and Andrew Mango. These all are the materials which I have here well put. You can use it from your house kitchen. Okay. In your kitchen, if you want, if you want these materials, most of these materials are available. You can use this material, is it? So now once if you take this lemon juice on your touch taste part of the tongue, then what you feel? There is kind of the salt and the cut up feel of that. So that means it is the taste of this is so this yes. So in the orange juice, similarly you will find the same thing. Yes. Yes, same thing I will find. Maybe in the vinegar, you may find the same thing. In the curd, yes, you will find. Now you will feel that why sir curd is made from the milk, then also we find this salt taste. Because curd contains the bacteria. Which is called the which is called the lactobacillus. What is called the lactobacillus? This bacteria are responsible to convert the milk into curd. Also, once you have a diarrhea, suppose this is your tract of small intestine, is it? Suppose, okay. So oh, this is a uh, track of the small intestine and you already understood uh, uh, the V uh, in the previous chapter this is the some some small small finger like structure okay this finger like structure is known as V is it now this V is contain, contains the, is responsible to hold the food to observe the food now what happens suppose the bacteria which is disturbed from the outer side bacteria we can call when the outer side bacteria attacks to your intestine which is most of the rotavirus now onwards in the monsoon the rotavirus is more active compared to the other bacteria okay now when bacteria kills this useful bacteria which are present in your small intestine then what happen is this not in a position to hold the food, not in a position to digest the food properly. Then what happens? Then you feel the diarrhea. So when you this is so many doctors and everybody is advised to you when you are feeling when you are feeling diarrhea, so you have to eat curd. So curd contains lactobacillus. It goes there, it kills our harmful bacteria, and it normalizes it soothes your digestive. Okay, fine.
Now, turmeric, मतलब इमली, that also we know that the turmeric that is available in our house, it is also have a same sort as yes, common salt. Now here you find something different, sir. Is it when you put oil on your tongue, this is salt. This is called the common salt. Suppose you put on your tongue, then what do you find? Uh, here, N A C L. Suppose you put on your tongue, you find sodium chloride, which is called the common salt. If you put uh, at your house or at your home, which is with you, it's a combination of sodium plus chloride. Chloride minus. Do you understand? Uh, once in the higher class, when we go. We will understand about sodium plus chloride. How this combination is converted into salt. Okay, so we can we know we can say that once we eat this salt, then also we will find that some kind of the different kind of the taste, isn't it? So now this common salt, the combination of sodium chloride, it is base. Why the base? Because the combination of Two different kind of moles is neutralized and converted into the base. Okay, but now amla also amla is also useful for your amla is also useful for your digestive system and it is the highest or richest form of the richest form of the vitamin C. Now one more thing which is unripe mango. So all this here most of the Salt is here is the different base. It is called the base. So some kind of the bitter base you will feel, is it? All of this have a same kind of the taste. Now this taste is we can identify by eating. By if you eat the food, if you take the food, then you can identify that this food have a salt taste. But how we come to know that so whether it is a base. Whether it is a salt or whether it is an acid. So for that, what we have, we have a litmus paper. We have, we have litmus paper. In this litmus paper, what we can do, if we take the material, and in this litmus paper, two types of litmus paper we have: red litmus paper and blue litmus paper. This red and blue litmus paper are available easily in the market. Now what we can do? Suppose when you put this uh, red litmus paper in the solution, or it converts the blue, or blue litmus paper when you put it, it in the solution, it converts the red. So what happens? You can identify the material what is present in the acid and base. We understand about this. What kind of natural litmus paper are available in the market? What kind of different litmus paper are available in the market? Okay. And uh, how can we identify this is the acid? What is the pH? Okay. What is the pH also of the substance? Now pH what is? If this pH of the substance, what we can say, if pH of the substance is between here it is a neutral, here it is the uh, neutral and less than seven pH of the substance is acidic. More than seven is the pH of the substance is known as the basic environment or basic nature of the any kind of material. Suppose. <coughs> I have hydrochloric acid. This is called the HCl. Hydrochloric acid, which is available in the market, it has the pH of two percent. What is two percent? So this two percent hydrochloric acid, if you put on your uh, head, then one drop of hydrochloric acid, if you put on your head, it will come directly out from the other side of the head. That means. It is very acidic, very dangerous, very dangerous for you. That means we cannot check with your hot hand or we cannot put on our tongue, finger on your tongue also. Because previously what I said, you can identify. If you cut that taste, then what will we do? How will we do it? If we taste it, we will know that it is acid. It means it is acid. It means what is the nature of it? Acidic. But this is hydrochloric acid. Suppose we have done the tongue, then what? पूरा दम चल जाएगा, so it is not possible. तो hydrochloric acid what we can do? 
we can identify with litmus paper. This hydrochloric acid, one more uh, quality is that it is available in our in our stomach. How the stomach is uh, already we understood in the digestive system. The stomach uh, can digest uh, all food only only because of this highest concentration of hydrochloric acid. So students, today is only in this class we have objective to understand. What is our objective? Today's objective in the chapter of acid base and salt. The objective is we have to identify the material which is available in our kitchen which we are using regularly whether it is acid, whether it is base or whether it is salt. That is our objective to identify material which is available in the kitchen. But one more objective which we have Suppose the material which or item which we cannot taste, then how we identify that material whether it is of the whether it is acid or base. So with the litmus paper, we can identify that this is the acid or this is the base. So in the next class, we will understand that what is how to use the litmus paper. Thank you.